Hey boys and girls, welcome back. So today we are going to continue our lessons on subtraction. Today, we will be subtracting numbers up to 10. So the only difference now is we're just gonna get bigger and bigger with the numbers, okay? So let's get right into it. Just as a recap and a refresher to remind you, let's go over a few things first, okay? So who remembers, and just call it out, what is this called? What is this called? Call it out. I'm gonna give you the answer in three, two, one. If you said this is a minus sign or a subtraction symbol, give yourself a pat on the back because that is correct. So this, again, like we learned yesterday, is a minus sign. What does this mean? Do you remember what this means? So for example, last week I said this addition symbol or the plus sign means I put it together. What does this mean? What do I have to do to the number? What do I have to do to the numbers? Call it out and I'll give you the answer in three, two, one. If you said take away, you are correct. You got it. All right, so let's do some examples. So here is my minus sign. And that means I take away. Okay, here we go. So let's do some examples. All right, what if I had Six counters, right? So let's show my six counters. Count with me, ready? One, two, three, four, five, and six. So here are six counters. So remember, the number I start off with is the number I write over here. So I have six counters. Now six counters is too many counters for me, so I wanna get rid of some. So let's say I want to minus three. I wanna get rid of three, take away three. What would I have to do? What do I have to do? So I have six minus three. What do I do to my counters here? Call it out. I take away, nice job, so ready? Let's take away, how many am I taking away now? Am I taking away six or three? Read the sentence here. So it's six minus three, right? So we take away three. So let's count three and take them away. Ready, here we go. One, two, three. How many counters do I have left? That's right, three counters, one, two, three. So six minus three, right? Six minus or take away three is equal to or the same as three. Nice job. All right, let's do another example. Let me draw a picture for this one, okay? So what if I had eight hearts? Ready? Let's draw my eight hearts. Count with me and tell me when to stop. So I want eight, right? I want eight hearts. Write the number eight and let's start drawing the hearts. When I get to the hearts, tell me to stop. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. That's right, I have to stop. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want to take away three. So I have eight minus three. Eight take away three. So 
How would I show taking it away? What do I have to do in my picture here? Do I draw more hearts? No, I don't draw more hearts. I have to cross them out. How many hearts do I have to cross out if it says eight minus three? Call out that number. That's right, three. So let's take away three. So ready? One, two, three. And I'm gonna circle the hearts I have left just to make it easier for me to count. And let's count how many I have left. One, two, three, four, five. So I have five hearts left. Nice work. Let's do another example. All right, I'm gonna set up the numbers now. And I'm gonna take away this word, the words. Let's see if you can help me set up the picture. So I have a number sentence that is nine minus five. What do I have to do to start? So think about what I did with the hearts example, right? What was the first thing I did to show this problem? Call it out and I'm gonna tell you in three, two, one. If you said draw the number nine, you got it. So let's draw nine circles. Here we go. One, two, Three, four, count with me, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have nine circles. What's my next step? So my number sentence is nine minus five. Well, think to yourself, what does this mean I have to do to the number? What does this mean I have to do? Call it out. Take away, right, so how do we show that we take away this number right here, which is a five? How would I show that I'm taking away? What do I have to do? Yeah, I have to cross out my circles. How many circles am I crossing out? Five, nice work, all right, so let's do that. I have nine minus five, so it's nine, take away five. So it's literally telling you what to do. It says, take away, Five, so let's do that right now. Count with me, ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's it, stop. And I'm gonna circle what I have left. Okay, so how many circles do I have left? Let's count. One, two, three, Four. I have four circles left. So I get four as my answer. And that is all you have to do today, okay? So you're gonna do a little bit more practice with subtracting numbers, meaning that you have to take away from something and we're going up to number 10. So quick reminder, the first number is always the number that you start off with. So if I have nine here, I'm gonna start by having nine circles or nine triangles, whatever I'm using. My second number is what I take away, right? Because the minus sign means I take away. So if it's, in this case, it says minus five, I would do take away five. And we show taking away by crossing it out, or you can just move it around. With the counters, I took it off, okay? Nice work today. And I will see you on Zoom later. Bye.